Hey guys, it's Hannah here and today I have my hashtag team project pan update for you. Some things have progress, some things do not. Um, if you know, I went away for two weeks, the last week of September and then the first 10 days of October. And I didn't take any of my project pan things with me, so I didn't use them for two weeks. Um, so, this, um, so this has really only been three weeks of use which is what my last update also was, so that's that. But some things have progress. Most things have progress. So let's get into it, starting with my Tatcha Liquid Silk Canvas Primer. Last check-in, this was 26 grams. It's now 23 grams. It has 10 grams of product in it, and I've used a total of 7 grams, so it should be done by the next update. It is an airless pump, but I can't actually see through it to see how much product is left. Not much, I don't think. Then we have... Ah, oh, foundation. I didn't have a foundation. Last month I used up my Misha and I didn't want to roll in a new foundation because I didn't know what I wanted to use yet. And I, because I was going away and I knew it was going to be a shorter update, I decided to not roll one in last month. But I have decided to work on, for the rest of the year, the MAC Pro Longwear Foundation. That's how much I have left when I have it sitting. It, it weighs in at 85 grams. I'm hoping to get through this by the end of the year. I think it's possible. Um, but we just have to wait and see how much foundation I actually wear. Um... Concealer, Becca, Under Eye Brightening Corrector. This is where it was last month. And this is where it is now. There is quite a lot of pan showing through here. I really am just around the edges. It's still weighing in at the same weight. Um, but it only had two grams of product. So that doesn't surprise me. Um, just working around the edges. Hopefully that'll be done by the end of the year. We'll see. Because I've been working on that since... The start of May. So, it's going strong. What will absolutely be done by next um, update is my powder, the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural. Last check in it was 69 grams. It's now 66. But look at all that pan. Um, so if you don't know, MAC Mineralized Skin Finish is a baked product. So it is baked on a grate. Um, so it's actually... My only product right around the edges there and quite a bit of pen so this will absolutely be done by next check-in which is very exciting to have my one two three four fifth powder finished up that's pretty awesome so yeah I don't know why I stopped talking then um, on to products I mark on paper. Uh, Mark Jacobs Earth Quake, still going, can't measure it, don't think I wore it. Did wear my Benefit Precise My Brow a couple of times, there is very little progress on it. I've just quite honestly really been enjoying using the Emco Tinted Brow Gel. I find it is, oh my goodness, as my mascara starts to annoy me. Um, it definitely gives my brows enough colour and hold and I have very minimal shaping I need to do with the precise of my brow when I use that so definitely not using it up as much if I filled in my brows with pencil every day that thing would be gone which I may do just to finish it because I have thing pretty sure I have another one uh, we then have the Bare Minerals uh, Sunset Rose Eyeshadow Stick still going strong Based on this progress, I should be able to finish it up by the end of the year. I don't have it on today because I was trying stuff out. But I use it quite regularly, so I am hoping to have that done. And then my Charlotte Tilbury is still <laughs> still going. It'll take me past the whole year to use up this mini lip liner. And I don't know. I don't know, because I have a whole lot of lip liners. Um... And my lip balm, 
I'm really glad I didn't take this overseas with me. This was the Gummy Bear Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask that I was using. I didn't take this overseas with me. I took the um, Sweet Candy. And I'm glad I didn't because this probably only had about seven days left in it. And I was gone for two weeks. So I did use Sweet Candy while I was away. Um, it's got a dip going. And then I've used it kind of for two weeks since I've been back as I finished this one up. It's currently weighing in at 10 grams. So I think this is my favorite scent as well. This one, this sweet candy one, I think is my favorite scent. This might be my last one. One, two, three, four. No, I must have one more. I must have one left after this. So if you buy a Laneige lips, the Laneige 5 Mini Lip Sleeping Mask set, it will take you a whole year to use all of them up. Um, so this is one I will be working on now, obviously. Alright, Pixie Mist. So I started this full. Now last month I apparently didn't mark it. We are down to here. It currently, last month it was 86 grams, it's now 66 sorry 83 grams and it's now 66 grams um again i didn't take this with me so i should be able to finish this by the end of this month should be in the operative word we'll see how we go i haven't found um we have been having some hot days and last check-in i was like i don't know how i'm gonna go with a biphase mist under my makeup when it gets really hot. We've had some hot days and I haven't had an issue with it, so I'm just gonna use it till it is done. Just hopefully next update. Uh, my belief um, Aqua Bomb Makeup Removing Cleansing Balm. This is where it was last month at my random 211 gram check in, and it's now 197 grams. So I have seen progress this time. I feel like I'm about halfway through with it. I feel like I can't tell. I kind of just want to stick a stick in it to see when the bottom actually is. I don't know. I'm working through it. Hopefully it'll be done by the end of the year. We'll see how we get because I have lots of pharmacy ones to use. You haven't seen that video yet. It's coming. <laughs> um, speaking of pharmacy, um, so I was using my Biosense Squalene and Vitamin C Dark Spot Serum um, last month. It was 11 grams and it is now finished. Good job, Hannah. So what I'm going to do is uh, rotate in a pharmacy 10% waterless vitamin C serum. Because I went on a holiday where it was quite hot and my pigmentation, even though I wore sunscreen, has now reared its head again. And I am back into using vitamin C. Um, so far, really enjoying this one from pharmacy. Really enjoying it. Uh, Excuse me, wake up computer. My Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Sleeping Mask will be finished by next month. Last month it was 106 grams, this month it's 103. When I originally put my first one in it was 103 grams and I finished it up within the month. So, and there's very little left I can see. This should be done very soon. And then I mentioned that I was taking two baby Sol de Janeiro moisturizers with me on my holiday. I have to let you know how I went. I didn't use them. I didn't use them once. So what I'm going to throw in to try and finish off for the rest of the year is something that looks like I should be able to use in two uses. Should be the operative word there if you know how difficult it is for me to use body hydrating products. Um, this is a an Australian brand. It's called Hideaway, www.hideawayonline.online. Uh, this is the Peaches and Cream Body Custard. It smells divine. The kids at work always, like, their kids notice I'm wearing this and love it. Adults do as well. Um, but it smells divine. But I always get the uh, kids asking me it, what if I'm wearing something. And it is this every time they ask me. It is currently 80 grams. As you can see, there's not a lot left. Um... Well, it's a 200 gram tub of moisturizer. So hopefully I can get this finished by the end of the year. If I can't, I'll be really annoyed. I'm just really bad at using moisturizers, I'm sorry. 
But that is it for my hashtag team project pen update. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below how your project pans are going and click subscribe to stay tuned for more and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.